thing, and then after we multiply, we have to subtract, correct? When it's the standard algorithm? How do I write my number in standard form, Christian? 2 and 7,500. 2 and 7,500. I started teaching in Bible school when I was maybe in seventh grade. So that's how I started. And then um, all of my jobs were, I worked in daycare centers. At one point, I worked at a cultural school at CPS called Del Poshkali. And they promote, um, they incorporate the Mexican culture into their curriculum. So there were many traditions that are, that are um, experienced in Mexico that they brought to the school and involve the community, the parents. Uh, and that just inspired me to become that teacher that will help all kinds of students achieve success. Besides the language barrier, what are the biggest obstacles for bilingual learners to overcome? Uh, not seeing the reflection of their community in schools, such as people who speak the language, people who um, promote the culture. Like let's say for Independence Day, there were uh, some teachers who wore the traditional garbs for, um, for Mexican Independence Day or um, Nicaragua or Guatemala, which was the 15th. So seeing the reflection, that bridge between their community and school, I think is a big obstacle for students. Who is the person who has had the biggest influence on your life and why did that person have such an impact on you? Well, my mom is a minister and she uh, does missions around the world. She, when she came, she, she was 18, 19 years old, um, didn't have any English background. I know growing up, I saw her go to English language learning classes and then she took a course at Triton College to become an administrative assistant. After that, she went to, um, she just never gave up. She just kept striving for more. Describe fifth graders. Energetic, honest, rambunctious, um, sweet, uh, caring individuals, kind. Um, and what are their characteristics as learners? Enthusiastic. They're always enthusiastic to learn something new. They're always motivated to share what they've learned and to help others, to help their peers. So there's a lot of peer, peer-to-peer -peer, um, coaching because they're willing to share what they know with their, with their classmates.